If you've ever wondered how to dress for an outing, then you've probably seen a weather forecast or two. Meteorologists are the scientists behind the weather forecasts. They look at the temperature, wind speed, air pressure, and clouds to make their predictions. But how exactly do they do it? Let's find out. First, let's review the water cycle. When the sun heats up the air around the rivers, lakes, and oceans, the heat causes the water to turn into water vapor. This process is called evaporation. As the water vapor rises into the sky and reaches the cooler air, it turns into little water droplets. These water droplets form clouds. This process is called condensation. Eventually, the cool air transforms enough water vapor into water droplets that the clouds become heavy and the water droplets turn into bigger water drops, which fall down to the earth. This is called precipitation. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation make up the water cycle. Now that you're familiar with the water cycle, let's take a look at how the air temperature can affect the weather. How do you think warm air on a hot day might affect the weather? On a warmer day, you are less likely to see precipitation because the water around you is likely going through the process of evaporation. You are much more likely to see precipitation on a cooler day. The wind is another important factor in the weather forecast. The wind is responsible for blowing water droplets together to form clouds. It also moves clouds and precipitation around. Also, high-speed winds are to blame for hurricanes and tornadoes. No weather forecast is complete unless the wind has been considered. Air pressure can help you to predict the weather because both high and low air pressure are associated with different types of weather. Low air pressure is associated with dark clouds and precipitation, and high air pressure is associated with clear skies and light wind. Clouds also have an impact on weather patterns. The altitude of clouds affects the temperature. Lower clouds tend to keep the air cooler, whereas higher clouds keep the earth warmer. Also, certain kinds of clouds are associated with certain kinds of weather. That's why identifying the clouds in the sky can help you make a weather prediction. Now that you understand how each of these weather elements affects the weather, you can try being a meteorologist and make your own weather predictions. What do you think the weather will be like today?